Ethan Behrman. Ethan Behrman is a radio talk show host as well. Ethan, you are out there on the so-called left coast. How are the president's actions being received in your media universe? Well, out here, it's it's mixed, right? I mean, so even people that are left of center are like, good, let's stop the terrorists. I support that as well. Let's stop the terrorists in places like Afghanistan and Syria. But the bigger concern is one-off attacks, like we saw under President Bill Clinton, didn't achieve the goal then against the terrorists. So what is the strategy now? What's the big picture? We're not seeing that. We're not hearing that. And so there's, there's some real skepticism over what is the actual end result of these two attacks. Well, uh, are, Ethan, as as you well know, there are some journalists who've been sending out tweets, you know, wondering whether this is the right course of action and sort of uh, decrying the president's change of heart in, in using military force more than he seemed to be willing to do as a candidate. But if you've got Israel and Turkey, those governments right next door to Syria, they both expressed admiration for the president's action in that cruise missile strike. Japan, Australia, England, a whole bunch of other nations have said it was the right thing to do. If that's the case, I mean, do we care what the journalists think? Well, I mean, ultimately, that only matters if you're paying close attention to the journalists. But, but I actually disagree with Tammy, and I, I understand what you're saying with uh, Israel and Turkey in particular. Look, they have a horrible civil war on their doorsteps that are affecting their countries directly. Obviously, anybody, if the United States gets directly involved, that is good news for Israel and Turkey. I, I totally understand that. My issue is a singular attack on a singular air base doesn't do much other than a message, which again, you guys actually have misrepresented what Bill Clinton did. Remember, he sent Tomahawk missiles into Afghanistan as well. It wasn't just the Afri aspirin factory in Sudan that we're talking about. He did four separate uh, Tomahawk missiles attacks in, in his presidency, but none of them had the, the end goal. If President uh, Trump really wants to stop the Syrians, mm -hmm. you take all, all of his air bases out. There are 37 of them. We did it to one. There needs to be a bigger strategy. We're not hearing that. We're not seeing that. This is just a first well, step. I so would, skepticism I would is absolutely warranted. But this is also Ethan, do you accept the fact that, uh, that Bashar al-Assad uh, bombed his own people with sarin gas? And, and if so, were he to do it again, don't you think the response would be much tougher than it was the other night? Yes. First off, I do agree that the evidence is strong enough that we know that Bashar al-Assad, but remember, not only this time used chemical weapons, he did it under President Obama. By the way, I was critical of President Obama when he didn't do anything after the use of the chemical weapons, and I think that he failed, actually, in allowing uh, uh, Vladimir Putin to take control in Syria. But again, a great, I'm so glad that there are people in Syria naming their babies after President Trump. That doesn't change the fact that Bashar al-Assad still has chemical weapons. Russia, still, Russia and Iran are still the ones who are more in control in that region right now. This was only a step. And by the way, Tammy, don't forget, we have a civilian-run military in this country for a very specific reason. So when we have a president that just says, I'm going to let the generals do what they want, that is not how See, our this country is, is set is, up. That is, is not is how we are founded. Problem. This is America first, keeping her people safe, and as a result, keeping the rest of the world safe as well. You might not like them right now, man, but they'll Tammy. be delivering. That is a total straw man. Look, we have four administrations that have been fighting terrorism in that region. Actually, it's five or six, depending on how you count it. And none of them have succeeded because we aren't committed to stopping it. President well, Bush took the eye off the ball. Here's and went why to they Iraq didn't instead succeed. of finishing Afghanistan. Here's why, here's well, why let's they didn't stay succeed. focused on well, the terrorists. We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to be able to solve this they problem didn't succeed in this discussion. Because they weren't Donald Trump. That's uh, the difference. Right, we have a we'll, new man uh, in office. Ethan Behrman and Tammy Bruce. Good discussion. Thank you both. Thanks, guys.